Hola mi gente, Eric with Guapo Homes here. I hope you are doing well on this freezing cold day. Uh, we're down into single digits. That doesn't happen very much here in Oklahoma, but let's sit back, enjoy the video. As I've been living through this quarantine life, just like you have uh, over the past year, there is something that's been on my mind, especially recently, and it is the phrase, whatever you measure grows. And that's what I wanna talk about today. Whatever you measure grows. Some people, they set a weekly goals list. Some people, they have a monthly, a yearly, a five-year, a 10-year plan. That's a form of measurement. Um, and there are great things if you haven't done those type of plans to plan out your finances, your future, your, you know, what you're going to do with your, uh, your goals and your family and your finances and your friends and business and your health and, and whatever. If you, if you don't have some form of measuring, it's really hard to have consistent growth over a long period of time. So do you want to get skinny? Yeah, you should weigh yourself and sh you should record it. I'm in the process of doing that myself. Do you want to knock out debt? Yeah? Well, you need to pay attention to every penny you spend and every penny you make. Because if you spend more than you make, you're going the opposite direction that you want to go. Without measuring it, it's near impossible to make a difference in that respect. Do you want to get promotions? Do you want to go up in life? Do you want to take more vacations? Without planning it out, it won't happen. And so my wife had an awesome idea for us as a family that we need to all do our vision boards. I'll include a snapshot of, if I have their permission, I'll have to ask, snapshot of my children's vision boards, because even Juvia of uh, five years old and Christopher seven years old, they did their vision boards for 2021. Um, Almendra has her vision board for this year. Uh, but I wanted to talk you through my vision board, which I decided to use this cold weather as a motivation to get my vision board done for the year. And I have it sitting right above my desk. So as I'm looking at my monitors every day, right in the background, right in my peripheral vision is going to be this vision board where I'm going to see the goals that I set for the year. And I'm going to be challenged by that every day. And so one of them is to get healthy and skinny. And if I am I'm sitting down and I'm like, man, I'm hungry. I look up at the part about being skinny and healthy and I'm like, huh, should I eat a donut or should I eat a salad? And it's gonna be extra motivation to remind me of where I want to go in the process. So uh, here we go. Let's take a look at my vision board. We'll pop it up on the screen. And uh, you'll notice at the top I have, I tried to rhyme and it didn't work. 2021 financial freedom. That didn't really match, but I wanted to write that because that's a big focus. Um, there, we had a couple of hard years uh, a few years back and um, have been as a family in the process of, of, of working our way out and, and becoming free again financially um, because there were some things that we tried and just didn't work as a business. Um, all right, my first picture is on the top left. It's my project car. So there's a couple of SUVs there. Uh, my kids and I, we want to buy um, like an old 4Runner, uh, maybe a 90s version, 90, 90s model 4Runner that we can uh, restore and, and work on and um, kind of have a fun weekend car that we can drive. Um, the second thing in the middle on the top is a picture of a Bible. Uh, I am a Christian. I, I believe in Jesus Christ, that he's my, my Lord and Savior. Um, and I want to know him better this year. And so I put that there as just a reminder. Hey, open your Bible. Let's talk to Jesus. Let's uh, let's work on that spiritual life a little bit. On the right side of is my health and sexiness section. <laughs> as you'll notice, I put a, I pasted a photo of my face over somebody else's. Kind of looks creepy, but uh, anyway, I also put a bicycle there. I put the Hulk up there uh, just to remind me of you know what I'm what I'm going for is not necessarily to be uh, a stick. I'm so skinny, but to um, be healthy and, and fit, uh, even if I may not be the skinniest person <laughs> in the world. And the next thing there is a picture of a house and a key, um, and that represents investing. Um, I don't think we're gonna be able to buy an investment property this year, um, but that is one of my goals to work towards, uh, to get, get things ready. And there's a few steps that I have to take to get to the point where I'm ready to buy uh, an investment house, and part of that has to do with one of my other ones that you'll see in a second, um, and we'll get there. 
Uh, that's the next one, cleaning up debt. <laughs> so there's some money in a broom, and uh, that reminds me that the goal is to clean up debt, definitely not get into more debt, but to clean up the debt that we have. And we've made progress, um, and, uh, and I'm excited to make more progress. If you know Dave Ramsey, uh, we're doing the snowball thing. Uh, there's an airplane on there and that I think I wrote Aero Mexico on the wing of the plane and uh, Yeah, that is to represent going to Mexico um, My wife is from Mexico my mother-in-law and a lot of my wife's family lives in uh, in the middle of Mexico near Mexico City and uh, we definitely uh, want to spend time there um, I want my kids to Hacer cien por ciento hispanos <laughs> uh, y cien por ciento gringos también. <laughs> but I want them to absorb and know and understand both cultures. Um, the next thing on there is a picture of some cameras and a laptop and my Guapo Homes logo. And my goal there is to uh, really focus on um, developing this, uh, doing these videos where I talk to people about about real estate and how, how the process works and different aspects of, of real estate. That's a passion of mine. I love to teach and, and I really enjoy making videos. Hopefully they're worthwhile in their content, but, uh, but I really want to continue working on developing that and making it more of a habit. So that's up there. And then the last thing is a picture of a shark. And it says, live every week like it's shark week. <laughs> so I'm a fan of comedy and uh, there is a show and one of the characters said that that was his life advice live each week like it's shark week and it's kind of silly you know it's kind of silly but I love it because it reminds me I mean we have to live each week like we've got nothing uh, nothing left nothing left to lose yeah like we, we got to give it our all each week yes there's time for resting yes there's time for vacation but man if it's time to work uh, one of my one of my old managers said if it's time to work you work and you work your butt off if it's time to rest you rest and if it's time to play you play um, and uh, I think that that speaks volumes so anyway I'd love to see if you have uh, do you do vision boards do you do one year five year ten year plans do you have another way of setting goals and meeting them I would love to hear about that so if you want to comment on the video or send me a, a private message I'd love to hear about it um, because I'm always open to new ideas so thank you so much for watching this video um, I'd like to encourage you to if you don't have a way to track do it uh, even though we're a couple months into 2021 it's not too late to pull out a piece of paper and sketch some things down uh, if you don't want to cut up magazines like we did um, and uh, anyway that is all I hope you have a wonderful day I look forward to personal growth and I look forward to you my friends and family uh, and clients growing um, if you know someone who's interested in buying or selling a house uh, please let me know have them contact me give me their phone number I'll call them I'd love to uh, uh, love to help. It's an interesting market right now. Um, we're in an interesting position uh, and interest rates. Oh, that's the triple interest. Interest rates are still good. Um, I've heard rumors that they're going to be going back up pretty soon. Um, and uh, so we'll see, you know, there's a lot of different things going on in, in the world today, uh, but it is still an excellent time to buy or sell. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like, please share this video, and I will be forever grateful. Thank you so much. Goodbye.